This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Tesla Model S. Well, this is just my studio, but today it's going to be about the Tesla Model Y. Yeah, by the way, why do I keep using this Tesla Model S studio? Because I can put the camera right on top of the instrument cluster and it also has white, uh, fairly bright interior. So that looks nice other than just having everything black. So yes, that's what I use the Millennium Falcon for nowadays. But anyway, so today is about the Model Y. So um, I have recorded a charting session on the Model Y, and I guess we can just roll the tape now and see what happens. Um, so uh, yeah, I measured that the Model Y performance has 74 kilowatt hours, versus the Model Y long range I tested last year was only 70 kilowatt hour LG battery. But then eventually they also provided, actually nowadays when you get the one from uh, from Shanghai, it's also 75 or uh, 74 uh, kilowatt hour battery. Uh, so, but at least um, I show you guys this in comparison because um, um, when I did the, the 1000 km challenge, it was in fact with this Model Y with a 70 kilowatt hour long range last year versus the Model 3 performance now. So you see, you have um, you have a bigger battery now, and also back then it was charging slower. But I also did measure a new um, yeah, test with a Model Y from this year, and it's charging faster. I mean, the Model Y long range, although it is a long range, I should say performance was a long range. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys the charging session that um, the performance seems to be charging a little bit slow than what it should be. So you can see that uh, in the middle, that the long range in the middle is charging faster than the performance is charging today. And then I just want to include also to the right side. That's w how it was uh, one year ago. So, um, you know, fair no more. We have seen this over and over again. I'm just going to show you again, uh, since mm, some people might not know this, but um, what I've seen not only with Tesla, but also, also with other car manufacturers that once they release a battery, uh, they they might uh, have not that great charging speed, but eventually they will, after let's say several months, maybe six months, they will then uh, usually update it with a software update uh, to unlock more power. Uh, we've seen this with Polestar also, we've seen this with um, uh, the, the Volkswagen, the MEB cars. Uh, so the same here in Tesla. Uh, so if you think that your Model Y performance is charging kind of slow, well, uh, just uh, hang in there because uh, most likely in about uh, three to six months it will be charging faster. Similar to the, what uh, you see on the model in the middle, the, the, the long range is charging today. Um, I'm just a little bit uh, puzzled why they just didn't uh, unleash the power right away. But maybe it's because, I don't know, they just want to gather data before they do it. But at least what we see is that the performance to the very left is charging faster than the long range to the very right uh, one year ago. So at least that's good. Uh, it still uh, it, it still goes blistering fast on long trips. Okay, it doesn't charge as fast as Taycan, but it doesn't have to because <laughs> the Model Y is so efficient. So you can charge it to, yeah, let's say now to 60, 70% and you can drive pretty far. And I guess if you want to charge further, then it actually goes kind of slow now. I would like to see slightly flat the charging curve because already at 70%, we are getting less than one C rating. and. Uh, well, how uh, how unhealthy is it for the battery to at least go 1C at 70-80%? Uh, well, I, I'm not sure, but um, from what I've seen is that Tesla did push the batteries fa uh, like faster back in the days. With, you know, I remember in the glorious days of um, MC Hammer, at 70% I would get, uh, I don't remember how much it was, maybe it was around 80, 90, almost 100 kilowatt. Now, maybe not 100 kilowatt. Um, but it was going so fast and I was wondering how healthy is it for the battery. Well, it turns out after two years and, and lots of supercharging that the battery there seems to degrade faster than, for example, the Millennium Falcon I'm sitting in right now. So and anyway, I just want to show you guys the charging curve here and that it goes. OK, um, well, let me see. I haven't really paid attention here. in the middle. Yeah, OK, so the Model Y in the middle. The long range goes pretty fast to 90%, you see, uh, but towards the end, okay, it goes a little bit slow. But also keep in mind that this is 70 kilowatt hours or 74 kilowatt hour. But uh, the, model, the the performance is not that slow, okay. Uh, I mean, it's still usable. See, the, the middle one will hit 90% there, and I just keep uh, charging a little bit past 90%. And then the Model Y performance to the left will also hit eventually hit 90%. But you see, compared to the to the old uh, curve uh, last year, then that one was well kind of slow ish yeah i mean uh, everything that goes uh, i mean still these cars still far charging fast compared to for example um, 
the key, uh, yeah, I remember Soul, uh, they can only peak at uh, 75 kilowatt roughly. Uh, that one is kind of slow, but this one at least you get some, some nice boost at the bottom where it's probably safe to receive massive power and then, yeah. Okay, so now the, the other, the performance hit 90%. So I will just show you all this because there you can see all the data when it comes to temperature and whatever you want to see, uh, usable remaining, uh, all the stuff is, uh, all the details I give you guys here. And then here we have all the data. You can find it in, uh, if you look in the description, you will find all the data here. Uh, you, you are free to use them. I gather them for you. And here I prepared the graph. So you see that the green one here is the, yeah, August. Yeah. So this one is the long range from last year. And you see that it wasn't really, yeah, it didn't hit 250 kilowatt, just barely hit 200 and then zoop, dropped. And then the red one here is the performance versus the, um, the LG, yeah, the long range. So you see that you can just hope, I guess, that eventually the red line here will fall uh, on the same level as the blue line here, maybe in, I don't know, a couple of months, but it's just that bottom part. So it seems like at least once you get past roughly just 15%, then it goes kind of hand in hand until at the very end here. So yeah, that would also be a little bit nicer to to actually just have this blue line on the performance. So, but again, it's not that big of a deal. You saw that it was just a matter of a couple of minutes. But yes, now you guys have seen it. I just needed to document it. Uh, usually not many people watch this video and especially not many people watch the very end. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.